Whiskey Cast. Proudly brought to you by Redbreast. The definitive single pot still Irish whiskey. Join the still house at singlepotstill.com and receive an exclusive whiskey tasting journal. I'm Mark Gillespie. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Cast HD. This time around, I'm in New York City outside Bonham's Auction House on Madison Avenue. Now, if you want to find a really rare bottle of whiskey, there are several ways you can go about it. You can hope that someone gives it to you as a gift. You can spend months, maybe even years, trying to find the perfect bottle online somewhere. Or, several times a year, you can come to places like Bonham's and place a bid on one. This is sale number 19426, the fine whiskey auction. Uh, just to make sure you're in the right one, gentlemen and ladies. On this night, 402 different lots will go on the block. A lot can be anywhere from a single bottle of whiskey to as many as six or seven, maybe even an entire case. And you'll find some of the world's most cherished and rarest whiskies up for sale. Black Bowmore 1964. We have 55-year-old Macallan and Lalique Decanters. We've got very rare 1928 Macallan. Uh, we have a wide range of Ardbeg, for example, coming up in the sale. We have a few very rare blended whiskies. Um, Historically and statistically, the pre-Christmas um, whiskey auctions at Bonhams, whether they be located in uh, Hong Kong, New York or Edinburgh, are among the most successful that we hold throughout the calendar year. Here's how auctions work. Pre-registered bidders have a paddle with their assigned number. They're bidding against each other and bidders on the phone with a member of the auction house's staff. And there's not much time to deliberate. In fact, the entire auction lasted a little over two hours. First whiskey auction, um, very exciting, very interesting. Uh, definitely uh, a lot to learn, a lot to be uh, uh, interested in. Um, but you have to do your research before you come because otherwise you really don't have a context as to whether the, uh, the, you know, the prices are fair or even what, what the market is for. And there's something for everyone in these sales. You know, there are everyday drinking malts which um, you know, wouldn't really benefit from being kept and should be drunk. And there are equally collectibles which indeed become investments over time. 50-year-old, lot of interest internationally coming in. Where should we start? 9,000 the bid. 9,000 the bid. 9,000. 9,000. 500, thank you. 10,000 down here. 500. 11,000. 12,000. In the end, the bidding for a 1928 McAllen reached $21,000. Tack on the 19% buyer's premium charged by the auction house, the total price, nearly $25,000. They're looking at what they might do with that product in 10 years, 20 years' time. You know, I'm seeing things coming back into my sales that were bought with me 20 years ago. Um, so it's a cycle, but it's a, it's a commodity that, um, again, statistically and historic, historically is holding its value. Longtime whiskey collector Peter Silver is featured in the latest issue of The Whiskey Advocate, but this member of the Malt Maniacs used the Bonhams auction to sell off some of his collection. Some of these were duplicates where I bought two bottles and I had one where I didn't really need to drink it or I managed to taste the whiskey somewhere and decided I didn't need to own it. So yeah, this was excess. Is this a good way to get rid of excess whiskey? Uh, I think it's a great way, especially when people are willing to, you know, if you bought something 10 years ago for, for $100, people are willing to pay four or $500 for the same thing, and the whiskey hasn't gotten any better. So they're clearly buying it for collecting purposes. I, I don't think a lot of people are buying it here to drink. When I buy here, I buy here to drink. And the ones I purchased are definitely going to be enjoyed with myself and my friends. Bonhams holds whiskey auctions twice a year here in New York, almost every month at the main auction house in Edinburgh. You'll also find whiskey auctions on a regular basis at McTeers in Glasgow and occasionally at other auction houses throughout the world. Check the WhiskeyCast website for a regular schedule. For more cask strength conversation and news about whiskey and the people who make it and drink it, join us each week for WhiskeyCast. I'm Mark Gillespie.